First of all, I would like to say that we certainly satisfied. If we would not be satisfied, we would not, I would not be here and we would not sign a new agreement. What was in 1995, I cannot really tell because uh, I'm in Russia since 11 years, but since, since, since this 11 years, we all, I always was in a, a contact with the, the Polytechnical University, which is named now after Peter the Great. So um, I can say, uh, we carefully select our partners and we carefully selected certainly also the Polytechnical University as our partner. And uh, in the last 11 years there were always some projects, smaller, larger ones, but now we do an, a new step. Now we do a step in the direction where we work in education um, as a partner with a university where we support the university and, we, and where we link up much stronger with the university than we did before. So the joint program consists of a couple of uh, grants uh, or stipendia for uh, students. Uh, these are master students mainly uh, and PhD students. Uh, these uh, master and PhD students are supervised by professors. That means they form uh, teams out of this with a certain science direction. Um, we also then uh, have a lecture series where we invite uh, experts uh, from uh, uh, science, uh, international science, uh, from uh, industries invite for lectures here to lecture the master and PhD students in certain subjects to open their horizon and to uh, empower them, to enable them also to work internationally. Um, and that is then the last element which is also very important where we uh, support uh, participation in science conferences worldwide. That means national in Russia to some extent, but also international, which is very important that results of science work are also presented uh, at the conferences. That is certainly, if we talk about science and if we talk about directions, all this is certainly in a coordination with our uh, Siemens uh, organization or Siemens company. IT technology is one area, uh, certainly, but also IT technology, if you look at this, is very broad. Um, IT technology, uh, what we understand, it's a lot of intelligent systems, uh, big data, people say in our days, um, intelligent system, control systems, uh, calculation of uh, certain properties of uh, systems. All this is part of the directions we have in mind. We will also extend this, uh, what I would expect uh, if we talk nowadays, um, we often hear the word digital twin, uh, that means on the one side we have a piece of hardware, on the other side uh, we have uh, the property of this piece of hardware described uh, by certain rules um, that uh, allows them to model uh, the design, to model uh, the um, system, to model even the manufacturing later in a way um, that uh, the modeling is done in, on, the, on the virtual level and only at the end it's mapped to uh, a, a, a hardware level. And that allows certainly to develop systems much, much faster uh, than we do it nowadays. If you look at the development cycle of a gas turbine, that is probably something like uh, five to seven years. Uh, we would like to go into three to five years. And the only chance to, uh, to speed up is, let's say, is at some point again IT, but certainly, let's say, these are tools modeling all the physics in, that means cyber physical systems, um, modeling all the physics in, and then allow for a very fast development of a product that means from the design, production or engineering, production even at the end service and to uh, model this in a holistic way. That is uh, what is nowadays needed to speed up the development time.
Yes, I was at the Polytech Festival. I also gave a presentation about the, the next wave of digitalization. Um, Polytech Festival, I, I enjoyed it certainly. Lots of people, lots of students or families or whatever. Quite interesting, there were even bands playing and so on. It was a, was a very nice event, I enjoyed it a lot and uh, I will be there next time.